Hey there, guys, kids, pals, whoever you are. It is a Tuesday, and today I'm going to talk to you about a habit, a bad habit, and how to, quote, break that bad habit. Coming up right after this. Come back. That was weird. That was very weird that it would do that. It would just black out like that. Good to see you. Fred Moore here, time and stress management expert today, talking to you about a habit, bad habit and how to break that bad habit. Now, I, I put break in quotes because some of these habits, they're not going to be broken, right? You're not going to break that bad habit. We're going to get to that in just a moment. So that's why I put the break the bad habit because sometimes these habits are going to come back. Sometimes they're going to come back into your lives. It depends on what the habit is, but let's just, just get right into it. Okay. All right. First thing that you want to do when you have a bad habit is figure out when did this habit start, right? What triggered this bad habit of yours? You know, it's a habit, you know, it's a bad habit. What triggered it? Why is it happening? What's going on? Was there an event in your life that's started you on this path, right? Did you start smoking because something, something stressful happened? Did you start overeating because something bad happened, right? Look back at when this habit started. It may take some time, may take, take some research. You may have to start calling people, talking to people, maybe having some uncomfortable conversations with people. When did I start drinking so much? Do you remember? Well, yeah, I do remember. Now, it could be that these habits of yours are bad habits, but not destructive habits, not smoking, overeating, drinking, doing drugs, things like this. But these are habits that you have that are bad for your business or, again, bad for your health. Right? Bad business habits include not returning phone calls on time, not prospecting like you should, not taking care of your customers like they would expect to be taken care of. See, these are also bad habits that, again, affect not just your life, but your business. And if it affects your business, it's going to affect your life. All right. So figure out where you started these bad habits. Now, maybe there may be not be a point in your life where you're like, I know exactly what triggered this bad habit. I know exactly what happened. And it, it may be just something that you developed. And maybe in your nature, maybe it's the way you were brought up that, well, that's the way I was treated, so that's how I'm going to treat other people. But that's an important part to determine as well. If you can find out what triggered the bad habit, that's great. But if you can't figure out what triggered it, then you need to think, well, why am I doing this? Is it because that's what I was taught? That's what I learned? I, I'll give you an example. Um, a friend of mine got married. Right? We were friends in high school and all that. Years later, he got married, and all him and his wife did was yell at each other constantly. I mean, anytime we were, I was there or around him, they were just yelling. These, ah, nah, 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 and it wasn't like they were violent or hateful or anything. They were just yelling at each other. And I'm thinking, why? Why would you want to have a relationship like that? And then I thought back. Whenever I would visit my friend's house when we were in high school, that's how his family interacted with each other, right? They all loved each other and all that, but they just yelled at each other. That's what they did, right? That's how they showed they cared. So it would just be natural that when he got into a relationship, an adult relationship, that's what he looked for. He looked for the norm for him. So this bad habit of yours may be the norm for you. But it can be changed. You can break that habit. How do you do it? Well, here we go. Step two. I'm going to tell you about it. Figure out what joy slash pleasure that you get from it. Now, don't go with that. You know, you know pleasure. <laughs> what's your, what's your talk? Nah. No. What is she talking? No. I'm talking about this habit you're having. If it's a habit, it's a bad habit for you, but you keep on doing it. Well, you, you got to be getting something good out of it. 
You know, if it's a smoking addiction you have, obviously what you're getting is that nicotine. You're addicted to it, so it's it's a physical need your body has, right? It's the pleasure. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But you need to figure out what is the good thing that you're getting from this habit. Because then that's going to play into the last step, the step number three here. But figure out what 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 good thing you're getting from this bad habit. It may be a physical thing. It may be uh, a sense of satisfaction. It may be a control thing. You know, when I yell at my uh, employees, I'm showing them I'm the boss. Hey, even though that's a bad habit and it's probably not doing you or your business any good. For you, you're getting ego gratification, you're building up your ego, you're feeling important. And a lot of times when you see bosses when they're at work and they're mean and they're bossy to their, their subordinates when they go home, that's not the situation. That's why at work they can do that because they don't get that satisfaction, they don't get that joy, they don't get that pleasure at home. So they need to feel that some way somehow and they do it at work you know you take it you always hear it all the time don't take out your bad mood on me just because something bad happened at home now you're coming into work and and taking that on me that's that's not good that's a habit that's a that's a bad habit so figure out what exactly are you getting from this bad habit which leads us to the final step to step number three replace this habit right you need to replace the habit if you just cut cold turkey, boom, I'm not doing that anymore. In the case of smoking, if you just stop smoking, your body is going to physically reject this idea. I need the nicotine, please. No, no. And it, you're going to have effects on your body. And if you've ever stopped smoking, I haven't because I don't. I never started. Uh, so I don't have that on me right now. Uh, that, that I don't know what it's like. But I can imagine it's, it's not pleasant. You know, I, I saw my brother go through the DTs when he had to stop drinking because his his pancreas went, no, stop. And he had to stop cold turkey and his body was in, no, 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 don't do that. He got through it. So instead of just stopping, replace this habit. All right. It's a bad habit. Replace it with a good habit. All right. When you start yelling at your employees because you need to show, show them you're in charge replace that habit because once you start doing when you go you know what makes me mad you know it really burns my butt flame this high yeah, it really burns my butt that flame and all that see when you find yourself going to your old habit that bad habit replace it with a new habit it may be something ridiculous like i just did right they're expecting you to yell and instead you you make them laugh i i don't know it, depending on what this bad habit is, find a replacement for smoking, right? People are smoking. What do they do? They start chewing nicotine gum, right? They're not smoking. They're still getting the nicotine, but they're not destroying their lungs. They replaced the bad habit with another habit that, sure, maybe now you're addicted to gum. I don't know, but at least it's not as bad as the other habit it may not be a great habit but it's not as bad and then from there maybe you can step it down step it down to completely eliminate it but it's really hard especially when it's a habit you've been doing for years and and habits are things that you pick up and you just keep doing it and why do you keep doing it because this i've always done this it's just a habit i have every day i do this right well habits can be broken right ask any nun <laughs> because they were habits and they could I'm not going there I'm not going there. I already did but yes find a replacement for the habit you have what whatever it is see if you can find a replacement for it and unfortunately there are habits where you cannot replace them right there are habits that maybe you just need to go cold turkey okay you know if you have a drug habit you're like well I'm not doing coke anymore I'll do crack yeah that's what I'll do no that's 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 not what I'm talking about uh, if it's an extreme bad habit seek help and i mean that in the nicest way possible not like oh you need to seek help i mean seek help all right get a bad habit try to break it replace it find out what triggers it what joy you get from it and then replace it and hopefully this will free up some of your time if you want some more time bam go right here five hours back.com it's a website i own i maintain it's a habit i have my website and maintaining it 
give me your name, email on that website. Boom, I'm going to send you a video showing you nine things you can do really soon, today probably, or this week, that if you do these things, you will get back five hours of your week. You're going to save five hours in your work week. Five hours that you can use to relax, to find a new good habit, to get more done, to spend time with your family. Whatever you want to do, it's your time. You get it back. Fivehoursback.com. And as always, do me a favor, share the love right like share comment on this let me know let me know a bad habit that you have and the good habit that you're going to replace with it if you want to share i mean you know this i this horrible habit i have i'm a serial killer so now i'm just going to kill you no 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 that, that's not what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about share the love let the algorithms know in the social media world world about this guy and the habits that hopefully i'm helping you to create good good habits. I will see you guys next time. I'm going off to play today. Bye-bye.